Hello, welcome back. And uh, this is Lokesh Murandla. And today we are going to be discussing about how to run our uh, Appium server in automation side. Previous what we are doing. Uh, like uh, we are opening for command prompt and then we are going to run for Appium like this. Like, uh, what are the steps we are going to do before starting without uh, Appium server? What we are doing first, we are opening for CMD and then we are typing for Appium and then we are putting for uh, icon P and 4723 or uh, 24 or uh, something. We are giving this one and then once Appium server is started, then we are going to uh, connecting our automation scripting. This will not work in a real time or else in a remote systems, right? When you are working with the Jenkins or something, right? That moment it will not work. We are, we need to open command prompt and we need to try this. That is working for somewhere else, right? How can we achieve this one? Okay. And when you see for my old videos, I even I I did not show you how to run this one and that moment I'm facing some issues. Okay. And later now I'm getting some time then I check with a couple of things like uh, there is an issue with this particular plugin. Okay. Because of this server test. Okay. Because of this particular one uh, making me having some problem in my system. Okay. After that I installed, uh, uninstalled this particular one. And then it got start working, okay? And try with first this particular adb uninstall io.apm.ui automator2.server.test, okay? Just you can do this one into your PyJam, not in any other location, okay? Here you need to copy paste that particular one and enter, okay? Then only it will start for uninstall, okay? And don't try to do it. Okay. Uninstall. Once you copied and make that uh, enter, then it will make you for success. Okay. And once you uninstall this one, and then you can start your program. Okay. What are the things I have done here? I'll show you one more time. Okay. First, this one like importing sections, right? Not quite. Right? And this is capabilities like. Uh, uh, this app and app demos and here you can uh, check this is my app this one particular one to click this one and clicking ok ok and next we need to see like this ok and for this one how we can able to do it ok these are desired capabilities and this particular section appium server equal to appium services ok and here I am going to providing for my port number ok appium server dot start okay this is my variable and it here and start and also i have provided for args this will uh, take some args okay in ri format i can p4723 okay and here web driver remote and also i'm providing the same okay http 127.0.0.1.4723 okay which is the uh this port number you are providing, same thing you have to provide here also, okay? And remaining same, okay? And after we are clicking continue on, okay, then we need to stop our service. This is the one we are going to do, okay? Now I'm going to run for PyTest, or you can use for, this is a, uh, it's not a PyTest, that we can able to use for directly, okay? This is a Python file, right? Python. and dot slash start appium server and then enter okay open it here and you can see it will connect to that particular app in back end it will open even you can see here there is no cmd for now okay Automatically, it will see it is started service and also it is open for that particular one. Okay, then it stops also, but it is not click this one OK button and it is failed because of something like a time issue, time sync up issues, or we can able to say anything. Okay, and it is failed, but it is connected. 
right? Even you can able to see that particular one. It's a clicking issue, some X part or something. Okay. No need to bother about it. Uh, that I will fix it later. And you can also try with that also. No issues. Okay. Basically, what will happen? Only you need to change here the port number you have to provide and this port number. Okay. Exactly have to match it. And no need to open command prompt. No need to type for to uh, servers to start. Okay. Automatically, it will start for the server. And also, you can able to stop the service. But you have to remember once you start the service and you have to stop end of the session. Okay. And next time whenever you opening, right? Already old service, it may be it will uh, start it again. It will take some time. There is no issue. There is no issue for that. But only one, one problem, what will happen, right? Is already open service is already present there, right? It will go and it will stop that particular service. Then only it will start for an again new session. That is the one it will happen. That's why it will take some more time to open the service and open the app. Okay. If you stop the service, then automatically it will quickly something it will little bit quickly it will happen. Okay. I hope it this information help for you. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.